I feel like a lot of healing is just like constantly like digging into the past for those those stories that you're like, hey, I believe this my whole life, but it's not really true. Like I can look at it in another way. Absolutely. I just think our memories are so flexible. It's so like not set in stone, right? And most mm-hmm. of the time we're remembering things wrong too. We're remembering it based on like our own bias. So I think that's such a powerful exercise is just to really like excavate your mind. Like, is that really true? What is really true? <laughs> yes. And it's our perception. And they say every time we remember a memory, it changes too. So we're constantly like changing the way that we see things. And mm-hmm. a lot of times it is like when we're younger, it's a limited point of view and it's more self-focused. Like what other people are doing is because I deserve this. And recognizing that that's like one of the four, th- four agreements of Don Miguel Ruiz is that we are not responsible for how other people treat us. That that is actually about them. It has nothing to do with us. So it's don't take anything personally, but we tend to take things personally and think, oh, well, right. I did, must have done something. Yeah. Yeah. Because when you're a child, you don't have the framework to think about it in like a positive or healthy way. So of course you're going to misconstrue or misinterpret things. And then as an adult who is like, you know, now you know better and you understand the world a little more, you can go back and be like, you know what, let me just redo some things and rework. Because like those beliefs, they, they're they like a part of you and they shape your entire life. So, so it's like, you know, why not release those limiting beliefs? Yes, absolutely. And for someone who's come from a family where there's trauma or anything like that, a lot of times they might have thought that there was something they did rather than recognizing that it actually was their parents, like the the things that they had that they hadn't healed from. So it's so important to kind of see the whole, you look at the whole picture. And that's part of narrative therapy also is telling yourself a new story because you're looking at it from all sides. Yeah. Another thing that a lot of people ask about when you're healing from trauma, rewriting your stories, reprogramming is how to forgive, right? Because you can control yourself. You can control how you perceive memories in your life. And, but a lot of people struggle with like forgiving people who hurt them. So, so what is your advice on that? I've done a lot of that work and a lot of times it's hard because you feel like, well, they did something wrong and they need to be held accountable and I don't want to forget what they did. Um, But if you can forgive, it's actually just a gift to yourself because it sets you free. It's not about whether they deserve the forgiveness or not. And for me, a lot of the things that helped with like forgiving was doing like some of the prompts in my workbook that I ended up sharing, uh, but also like writing letters to people. And even doing like kind of guided meditations and visualizations where I'm talking to that person, where if you just put a chair, if you're outside by yourself, you put a chair in front of you and you sit and you have that conversation, you say what you wouldn't wanted to say to that person um, and how you felt. And somehow, I don't know, for me, I feel like it kind of helped reprogram my brain, even though I never ended talking to like these people, just writing those letters or having those conversations um, was a way to release them. So they weren't holding me back because otherwise you can be haunted by these memories and things that are not yours to carry anymore. And it's just, it's time really to release it for yourself and for everyone around you. Mm 